Okay, Science 9, uh, we're going over some potential energy and kinetic energy problems. Um, so before we begin, we want to make sure that you actually have the uh, formulas that you need. So when we talk about potential energy, we really look at it and say it's equal to the mass of the object times gravity times some height that we are above. So this is gravitational potential energy. Now, I always like to put these into... Um, triangles and so this triangle is a little bit different than maybe the last ones you've seen I want to do this where I put a, a third part on the bottom here so our potential energy is equal to a mass times gravity times the height so when we talk about uh, the units associated with each of these potential energy is going to be measured in joules okay so joules we symbol it with a J represents all units of energy. Now that unit comes from the kilogram, okay, so mass is always going to be in kilogram, and the height, which is always going to be in meters, and then gravity, which when we're talking about it on Earth is always going to be a constant 9.8 meters per second squared. So really when we look at what a joule is, a joule is the combination of kilograms meters squared per second squared. So that's the units that go together to make up a joule. Okay, And so if we're going to use that, again, I like to use the triangle. Typically, we usually cover up one thing. So like if I'm looking for the potential energy, it's the mass times the gravity times the height. If I'm looking for the mass of the object, it's the potential energy divided by gravity and the height. And if I'm looking for the height, it's the potential energy divided by the mass and the gravity. So that's kind of the way that I like to set up that one. Now our second um, equation is our kinetic energy equation. So kinetic energy is equal to one-half the mass times the velocity squared. So that's our relationship there. And we can put this into a triangle as well. This triangle, of course, is a little bit different. Okay. So we're going to put our kinetic energy up here. We're going to put half of the mass here. And we're going to put the velocity squared there. Okay. So when we look at this again from a, a unit's point of view, this is also measured in joules. So we know that kinetic energy is going to be in joules because energy is still energy. We know that the mass is going to be in kilograms. And we know that the velocity is going to be in meters Per second but we're squaring that so really we get kilograms meters squared per second squared so we're getting the exact same units as we were over here now when we use this one this one's going to be where it's a little bit different okay when we plug the mass in so when we get the mass from the problem and we have to go into the problem we have to make sure that we take only half of the mass that goes into the triangle and when we find the velocity and we plug it in to the um, triangle, we need to make sure that we square it. So it's important that we're actually following through with what we have to do with the mass and the velocity when we put in this into the triangle. So again, to find the kinetic energy, we're going to take the mass, we're going to divide it in half, and we're going to times that by whatever the velocity is squared. Now, when we try to find, like, the mass, okay, we're going to take the kinetic energy, we're going to divide it by the velocity squared, and that's only going to give us half the mass, so when we bring it back out, we have to times it by 2. So going out this way, we have to times it by 2. Now, same thing, when we're looking for the velocity, we're going to take the kinetic energy, we're going to divide it by half of the mass, but when we bring that out, we're going to have to square root it. So we're going to have to work with, you know, how to deal with these values. So again, this is where the guess method is really going to help you in doing your problem solving. So now we've got our relationships here. Let's go ahead and take a look at our first couple of problems. Okay, and so I'm going to jump down here to, um, let's look at problem number three. Okay, so problem number three we're going to go through and, and list out our guess method stuff. So again, I'm going to first list out, I need to know what I'm looking for. It says how much potential energy. So under the 
U, I'm going to look at potential energy is my question mark, which means that I need to know the mass, the gravity, and the height. So these are the three things that are going to be my given. Now it says that I have a 1.7 kilogram book, so 1.7 kilogram book. On my desk, I'm 0.74 meters high, and we're on Earth, so in other words, that's that constant value of 9.8 meters per second squared. We now know that our equation is just going to be potential energy equals mass times gravity times height, so it's that part of the triangle. And then I'm just going to set it up by plugging my values in, so potential energy equals my mass, 1.7, times my gravity, 9.8, times my 0.74, and you can go ahead and solve that one. Make sure that you label it with the proper units, okay? So that's going through one that's a potential energy one. Let's see if we can find a kinetic energy one as well, okay? So here's one where we have a kinetic energy, okay? So what's the kinetic energy of a boat that's moving at that speed? So in other words, my unknown is my kinetic energy. That's my question mark. I'm going to list out my given. So I need to have the mass and I need the velocity. So let's see if they gave us the mass. Yep, 2139 kilograms. They gave us the velocity, 5.2 meters per second. So in other words, now we get to our equation, which is just going to be kinetic energy is equal to half of the mass times the velocity squared. So now we're going to set this one up. So we're going to take our half of let's see, kinetic energy equals half of the 2139, okay? And we're going to times that by the 5.2, but we have to square that. So again, my mass is going in. I'm going to take half of my mass. I'm going to take my velocity. I'm going to square it. And that's how I'm going to set up or solve my problem, make sure I have my proper units. So that's another one for you that you can kind of get started with. I want to see if I can find one more kind of kinetic energy one to look over. Um, here's one, like number seven. Okay, they're looking for the mass. Okay, so, so it's if I list out my givens, my unknowns, I'm looking for the mass. So my question mark is that. Um, I know that I'm going to need the kinetic energy and I'm going to need the velocity. So those are my two given things. I've got a 4.3 meters per second and I've got 16.64 joules. So now when I pick my equation, so my equation is now, let's see, I'm looking for the mass. So really half of the mass equals the kinetic energy over the velocity squared. So I'm going to go through, set up my problem. Okay, so my half mass is equal to the kinetic energy, so that's the 1664 over the 4.3. And remember that we're going to square that. So I'm going to do my math here, but remember I found half of the mass. So in the end, I'm going to have to times that by 2. So I'm going to have to times by 2 in the end in order to get my mass. Okay, so that's kind of how we have to set those up. Remember that uh, we do have all of the answers on the bottom of the page. And when you finish up this activity, you're going to make sure that you post a picture of it uh, to complete it. All right, so that's it for... Uh, potential energy and kinetic energy calculations.